Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's your boy J Vibe TV here with another video, man. You already know what a better place to be. You're with your boy J Vibe TV, man. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Show the channel some love. I greatly appreciate that. Hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Today, we're doing a video on the world's most crowded island on earth. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to PP Peter. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, went to the island, you know what I'm saying? And checked it out, did some different things. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into the video and check it out, man. Um, let's go. There are almost 700,000 islands in the world. Greenland is the biggest one. Java has the most inhabitants. And Nauru has the smallest island nation. But what about the most densely populated island in the world? Let's find out together. You mean to tell me that that's an island? That small place right there is an island? I don't know if that's the same one. Well, damn, I mean, it is. I mean, if you look in the video, it look, he does look kind of small as he goes back, but damn, that's an island? An hour's boat ride from the northern Colombian city of Tolu lies an island that is very special on a global scale. In the 19th century, a group of fishermen came across this tiny coral island. It was too late for them to return home, so they spent the night here. The legend says that they slept so well that they decided to stay. Fast forward 150 years, the island goes by the name Santa Cruz del Islote and is the most densely populated island. Santi de la Cruz del Islote. Oh, no. Santi des Clolis Delis. Hmm. I can't pronounce that right. I just can't pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, so I ain't, I ain't gonna make I ain't gonna keep trying, you know what I'm saying? In the world. With 816 inhabitants living on 12,000 square meters, its density of population is a staggering 68,000 people per square kilometer. What sixty eight thousand people? That's 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 that that can't be that can't be like a a real number. You know what I'm saying? Like that can't be a real number. Like sixty eight thousand people. Like dang, on that small island. Wow. La de Santa Cruz es muy chévere, muy bacana. Afortunado de nosotros compartir y vivir una cotidianidad. Diariamente con el mar, donde sentimos la paz, la tranquilidad, la brisa, la playa, todo se basa dentro de la convivencia en una conexión natural. The first thing that you notice on this island is the amount of rubbish and the smell it produces. You're literally crawling through dog feces, empty bottles, and food leftovers. And when it's sunny, it rots, and when it's raining, all these things float, and it's not the nicest of views. Hay tanta basura. Yeah, I, I agree. It's not like really clean, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but it's home, you know what I'm saying? To those that live there, it's home, you know, it's what they love, it's what they, you know what I'm saying? It's how they grow up, uh, their schools, I'm um, pretty sure stores, um, you know, just their neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? The island is like one big neighborhood. Because we no hemos tenido conciencia medioambiental de que estamos perjudicando nuestro océano, nuestros recursos naturales. Y que uno como nativo es consciente de lo que hace y como visitante que vienen de fuera también nos trae mucha cantidad de residuos sólidos. Es el cáncer. Apart from the precarious garbage situation caused by the lack of trash collection operators and the carelessness of both tourists and locals, everything seems to kind of work in San. You know what I was think? Hey, I'm just thinking like if they live there, like I saw a guy like picking up the trash, right? Like, where, how do you even get a job there to make money or, you know what I'm saying, to make, like, you know what I'm saying, good money to do, you know what I'm saying, better for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'll be something that, you know what I'm saying, you, you know, you'd be like, well, where the good jobs at, you know what I'm saying? So I guess everybody has similar to same type of jobs and stuff like that or something, you know? Santa Cruz del Islote. There are four shops here, all equipped with the essentials, and there is no competition between them. If one runs out of something, the others supply it. 
Since there is no hospital, they also play the role of a pharmacy, having all the basic medications. However, if a person is sick and requires medical attention, they have to take them to mainland by a boat, which takes an hour. The island has no... So there's no medical attention there. So if anybody has get sick or hurt, they have to get on the boat and drive a whole hour away to get attention. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty intense. I mean, you guys think y'all could live in a and have no basically doctors, no uh no no first maybe first couple first aid kits, but you know, that's that's pretty that's pretty different. Cemetery. So in the sad case of death, people walk the dead body around the streets, end the morning parade at a Saint Cross in the square, and send the body on a boat to a cemetery in a nearby island of Tintipan. This cross on the main street is also the place where the main festival of the island begins on the 3rd of May. People dance, drink, and listen to very loud music. Although, after spending two nights here, it seems that Every night is the 3rd of May. There aren't any police on the island, which <laughs> makes you wonder who solves disputes, arguments or crimes. Well, it's the community itself. People are so dependent on each other here that every time an argument arises, they try to solve it as soon as possible. There are occasional fights, mm. but none of them end with anyone badly hurt. There is also no recorded murder on the island, and people here claim that nobody steals. The perfect society, I guess. That's 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 crazy different. Like, no police. I don't know if that could could go on in America. Like, if you could just have like no police, no nothing, or whatever country, like other countries as well. Like most countries have like some type of, you know, what I'm saying, um, police or some type of, you know, enforcement or whatever. That's crazy. And then everybody gets along because if they have a dispute or fallout, then um. Like say they have to work it out. Everybody works together to to make it to make everyone get along. That's 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 different. Like they say, that's tough. Perfect society that fascinatingly learned to cope with the challenges of living on the island. Bueno, en la web una necesidad más grande que tiene la comunidad isleña debido que nosotros no la tenemos potable. Somos afortunados cuando llueve que recogemos cada gota de agua particular. Hay una señora que ella vende agua para el pueblo donde contrata otro bongo particular y así que nosotros no tenemos agua para satisfacer nuestras necesidades. In the past, electricity ran for only 5 hours per day, but thanks to a solar panel project and a diesel generator, the islanders have electricity from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then again from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. 5 a.m. That's that's pretty different. I mean, dang, they only have electricity for like certain different times. So it's like if you need to charge your phone, you can't even charge your phone until a certain period of time. I guess they mean electricity like it have to it would have to be electricity overall the whole island because I know at nighttime, you know, lights come on in a lot of places in the country. But I mean, I guess overall electricity, there is no electricity until certain time periods. So that's, you know what I'm saying? Eh, disculpa, ¿hay misa acá cada día? No. 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 Eh, tres veces a la semana. Tres veces a la semana. I mean. Santa Cruz del Islote may not have a hospital or a pharmacy, but it has this church. The most important date for all the Christians on the island is July 14th, when a priest comes here to baptize all the children born in the previous year. Huh. Doesn't seem very vibrant here, does it? El futuro de la isla son los jóvenes. También hacemos talleres con ellos donde ellos puedan dibujar sus imaginaciones. So despite the conditions, they still have church. You know what I'm saying? I'm a firm believer in God. I believe in God. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them who, you know what I'm saying, believe in God, you know, and all that. And, all, and no offense to anybody who doesn't believe. I mean, I don't judge. But uh, yeah, man, that's good. You got church over there too for the kids. You got to have some type of foundation. You got to be grounded. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing. A través de un dibujo y decir, mira, yo quiero hacer cuando sea grande esto que tengo acá dibujado. Entonces nosotros qué hacemos? Luchamos por esos sueños. Muchas gracias. This building serves as a primary and secondary school, 
with 225 students and 13 professors. Many of the students are from the nearby islands. And uh, fun fact, the school bus is a boat. ¿Qué quieres ser cuando seas wow. grande? ¿Qué? So while y'all catching the bus, they catch boats for school, you know what I'm saying? Which is unique, like that's, that's different. But where would the school be? If you're on an island, where, why would you need a boat to travel to school? Unless, unless the school is, you know, well, yeah, I get it. Maybe the, um, the hospitals and things like that are an hour away, but schools and stuff maybe are 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away, maybe even half an hour away, right? So that's, that's different. I get it, sir. No, no sabes. ¿Tienes un sueño? ¿Qué es tu sueño, entonces? ¿Qué es tu sueño? Dime. En policía. Ah, un primer policista de la isla. De la isla. Becoming a police officer on the island is next to impossible, with a surprising 70% of people working in the tourism industry, which has replaced traditional job sectors. Uno sale y llega aquí a las 3 de la tarde, hace 4 de la tarde por... We're gonna do spear fishing with a local fisherman, Luis. I've never done it, I have no clue how to do it, but I guess life is about trying new things. Listo? Yeah. Spear right. fishing. This double look, he caught a crab. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Crab is, is definitely a delight. You know what I'm saying? Everybody likes the crab. You know what I'm saying? Crab legs, for sure. Um, so yeah, most definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? He ain't catch a fish. Well, spear fishing, I guess he's, that's just like fishing. You know, anything is, is a catch, right? The water is so beautiful and clear, man. Like that's, that's so beautiful, man. Like just the, you know what I'm saying? You swim for your fish, you catch your fish out there. You know what I'm saying? Food is always like right there. Luis caught the first fish. Ten more minutes, because my cameraman is gonna be sick. We've got the last one, a huge one. Wow, look at this, look at the fish. Oh, wow. And then it's, it's amazing because they're so in tune with the island or so in tune with uh, fishing that he's got so good it looks like the fish doesn't even try to get away or anything. It's like the fish just, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's like I don't know, it's like a blessing. It's like they, you know, it's, it's meant for them to feast, you know what I'm saying, off the island and, and the fish doesn't seem to try to, well, at least for this, you know, video, they didn't seem to try to run away too much. I'm pretty sure many of them did, but that's, 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 that's amazing. That was a nice catch. Okay, let's go home. Spear fishing was without a doubt the most entertaining thing the island could offer to me. However, locals would disagree. La gente aquí se, se, se te tiene los sábados, pela de gallo, mucho juegan dominó, mucho juegan carta. After discovering some beautifully painted murals and an aquarium, I could easily say that I saw literally everything on the island. The next day, before leaving, I had just one last duty. We're looking for a barber, but Everyone's saying that all the barbers are sleeping. It's 9 a.m. They're sleeping. They probably partied hard yesterday. Disculpa, ¿hay alguien acá quien puede cortar mi pelo? Está durmiendo. Todas las... It's like, hey, they better make that money, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's come over ready to spend, you know what I'm saying? You might make you... You might make you dang. I'm pretty sure you're gonna spend at least a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So just to show love. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. I'd be like, hey, get up, get up, hey. Somebody willing to spend to give you. A, you know what I'm saying? They need a haircut. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 
an American or you, whoever, like wherever they from, you know what I'm saying? They they come in the span, so. Las personas que que me pueden cortar el pelo están durmiendo ahora. No, no está ahí. No, no está allí. Vamos a estar el otro que bueno. No ah, bueno, bueno. Barber's not here. I have to find another one. We just uh, found my barber. Acá? Bueno, bueno. He's gonna cut my hair right here. In front of the shop. Sweet. Bueno. What am I getting myself into? This is what I want. Let's see if, if it's doable. I'm, I'm not really sure, I hope. I don't know if he, hey, I believe he gonna be able to do it. Like, you can't under, underestimate him because like, those are probably some of the best barbers in the world. But you know what? We gonna find out, we gonna see. Let's see. All right. Bueno. Wow. And he's doing it with a razor. Now that's, that's skill right there, man. Man, you know what I'm saying? I need, hey, we, hey, we need, hey, all of us need to go over there and get us a haircut. Tiempo has cortado pelo. Hace un rato, bueno. Viene, no se va haciendo la misma persona, se va diferente. Encuentra un modo de vivir, un modo que, que nosotros, a diferencia de la ciudad, ¿para qué tener comparación? Si acá lo tenemos todo, nuestro mar cristalino y su biodiversidad. Eso es lo que nos hace sentir único como comunidad es que somos nosotros. Vivir en un secreto en el medio del mar. Hasta luego. It's time to leave the most densely populated island in the world. I'm leaving Colombia like a completely different person, physically. I'm so glad for this fresh new hair. Man, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful, man. I love that, man. That's a beautiful country, a uh, beautiful place, man. Beautiful people. You can tell the people have beautiful energy, beautiful personalities. Um, very just happy people man and you know that lets you know that like I say money doesn't bring happiness it's, it's about the people that you're around man and um and that's that's the way it always should be even with us people in our country we have to learn to love each other to embrace each other and um and treat each other right you know what i'm saying because that goes a long way you know um yeah man the smallest this video is basically over the smallest Island, you know what I'm saying? This is amazing, man. I loved, I love that. I loved uh, this video. This guy went out and did uh, and recorded. Um, it's a beautiful, it's it's a beautiful town. I love it. Um, you know, if I ever, you know, had if I ever get in a position financially to visit, I would, I, I would definitely visit. And um, I love it, man. Hey, man, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, and subscribe. I great, greatly appreciate it. Gonna have more videos coming soon. You know, I'm trying to pump out more videos. I uh, haven't been putting out enough content lately. So, man, make sure to please hit that like button and subscribe, man. And uh, we're going to get into another video coming up real soon, man. Much love. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe. Peace.